using light for numerous applications. This is what photonics is about. From LED and laser lights to fiber optics and light therapies. At the moment, we are at the beginning of an era where optics will have a leading role in technological development. For this reason, the Embassy of the Netherlands in Paris organized a seminar dedicated to the future of photonics. Both the Netherlands and France uh, have excellent research institutes and also companies dealing with this topic. It's also a priority for the European Commission. It has been labeled as a key enabling technology. Uh, so we think it's very useful to bring uh, research institutes, companies and universities together to talk about this topic because I'm convinced that there are uh, many possibilities for cooperation between the institutes, between the companies of France and the Netherlands uh, in this area. I'd just like to, to, uh, to Experts from both the Netherlands and France shared experiences and trends in the field of photonics. Many industries depend on optic solutions. Without photonics, modern communications would be impossible. Yeah, you just have no internet available. <laughs> uh, you need even, even the wireless transmission, which we, every one of us use uh, using their smartphones, is, is backed by, by uh, fibers. So it's, uh, every data transfer is, is, uh, is uh, running through a high capacity fiber network. So, uh, and fiber uh, is, uh, needs a, a photonic device, let's say, to, to launch uh, the signal on it and to detect the signal at the other, at the other end of the fiber. Healthcare is another field where photonics plays a key role in new innovations. Well, at Philips we are uh, very much focusing on uh, changing uh, a lot in, in the healthcare applications. For example, there's a lot of open surgery going on these days. And surgery is moving more to what we call minimally invasive healthcare. That means that basically we are entering the body with instruments. Locally we are uh, characterizing tissue and we can ev eventually even locally treat, for example, uh, cancerous tumors. And in that sense, uh, optics and photonics can play a very important role. It's not all about expensive and high-end technologies. The research project iSpecs developed an add-on for smartphones to measure air quality through light. iSpecs is using the technology in the sense that we made very complex, very big optics into one little small plastic thing. So we were able to condense the essence and make it very cheap, make it mass produced. And that allows us to do, have basically normal citizens use their smartphones to, to scan the sky, do measurements and help us learn more about the air quality. Both France and the Netherlands are at the forefront of photonic innovations and are seeking cooperation to boost new developments. The device that LL Tech is, is going to build is, I think, making a revolution in, in what you can do in, uh, in medical diagnostics. Uh, that's a nice fit to what we like to, to provide to that market. Uh, we have a medical area where we, uh, where we make products for and we really believe this is an innovation that nicely fits and is really changing boundaries of what you can do with imaging technology today. Europe has already a, a good, I would say, market share in several of the photonics markets. It's an area which has enormous potential for further growth. It's an area where, uh, by investing, we can create growth and jobs. And it's an area certainly where the assets we have, the infrastructure we have built, can become, uh, can be valorized more and can become, can offer a lot of uh, uh, job opportunities for our uh, people in, in Europe. And we need research and development in order to be able to further position ourselves in the future industrial landscape. Photonics is one of the major technologies that will be developed in the years to come. Photonics today is what electronics was 40 years ago. And there is a uh, very good uh, comparison uh, in the development in the technology that electronics had from the 60s onwards as uh, with photonics today. Um, in that aspect you could say we, we are about 40 years behind in development. But I'm convinced that photonics and the technology and the associated uh, equipment development and applications will make the similar development as uh, the microelectronics has. We all know microelectronics. In a few years' times, we all know about photonics. <laughs>